All right, so we've been hearing rumors that Javante Tank Davis is supposed to be fighting Lamont Roach December 15th in Houston. And Javante was record with 30 and 0 and currently the WBA champion at 135 pounds. Um, he, uh, you've been hearing rumors that the fight might be postponed and uh, whether or not him and David Benavidez might end up doing another uh, dual header or co main event, should I say. And the last time they did it was a success. Benavidez is a uh, you know, he's a rising star, and of course, Durante Tank Davis is a superstar. But you've been hearing rumors also that, like I said, it might it might get pushed back. Now, he came out with these two tweets that I posted. Uh, first one says, I'm still fighting in Houston, and everything is still a go. So it looks like it's, it's going to be on for December 15th against Lamont Roach. Well, I know majority of boxing fans would like to see Durante Tank Davis fight, you know, uh, more difficult competition. I'm at least glad that he's at least fighting more than one time a year. You know what I mean? So I don't want a record with if you're gonna fight B C level fighters, then you know, and no disrespect to Lamont Roach at all. You know what I mean? But uh if you are if you were not gonna fight the superstars, the Devin Haney's or the Shakur Stevensons, um, even if you fought Devin Haney at, at a catchway, you know something. You know, but I get it as boxing, as politics. Floyd, Leonard Ellerbe, they carefully crafted Tank's career. Um, and, uh, you know, Floyd, while I disagree with him on a lot of different things that he does, one of the things he did was he used his um, influence to get a lot of uh, rappers and other people to look up to Floyd to come watch Tank when Tank didn't really have a big name. And Floyd kept telling you he's going to be the next superstar. And now Tank got it to the point where he don't have to fight no, nobody. Or remember, I remember when he fought at 140 pounds against Mario Barrios. And if I can remember... It was for the WBA regular title, and they promoted it like it was just a regular belt, like a like an actual belt. And even when the LB said that the casual, they, the casual fans, they don't care about that. He admitted it on camera. And I remember at the end, it was like the, the next the WBA champion. <laughs> wow, this is what we doing. So it don't even matter to the fans. He a champion, whether it's it's a a, a regular belt a super bell, a McDonald's bell, a Dreamcast bell. He, it don't matter. You know what I mean? So I do give Floyd and Leonard his credit, even though Tank's not with Floyd anymore. Um, Tank definitely is the, you know, one of the one of the faces of the boxing, honestly, and one of the most recognizable people in sports, you know, but it'd be pretty cool to see him fight the Shakur Stevensons and uh, the Devin Haney's in a prime, you know what I mean? And another, and another one more thing as well, PBC, y'all got, y'all, no, no, if this fight is eighty nine ninety nine. I don't know what's going on because Turk Alashi, he's making unification fights, undisputed, un, uh, undefeated fighters fight, and I think it was only, what, $20? So like, it wasn't that much, you know what I mean? Even when, even though I knew Joshua, most people knew Joshua was going to knock out Francis Ngagwu, it was only forty dollars. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't understand why, why as the boxing fan, why we gotta pay ninety dollars to see Tank Davis fight Lamont Roach. You know what I mean? And David, but yes, I understand it's a co-main event, but that fight should be, it, look. That fight should be the pay per view should be no more than about fifty dollars, maybe sixty at the max. I'll give you that. You know what I mean? So, but that's just my opinion. But I just wanna get my quick thoughts about it. Do y'all think it's gonna get pushed back? Do y'all even care that Tank's fight with Mont Roach? Is it just me? Am I the only one tripping because I want to see the best fight the best? You know, and whatever, man. Listen, if, if, if you like the politics behind it, cool. You know what I'm saying? But let's just let's just keep it real in the chat. But yeah, let me know what y'all think.